All right, sunken shrine time. Hmm. Let's just go straight up. Eh, we fought these poor. Ah, damn it. Testing out their weaknesses. They seem to... I mean, being a... Uh, oh, fuck it. <laughs> being water monsters, you'd think that they'd be weak either to lightning or fire. Fire? Not really. Lightning? Sure. Okay. Ambushed by white sharks. Yeah, that's a low-level spell. That's doing a lot of damage. Hmm. I really should have, uh... Picked up some, uh... More healing items before disappearing into this dungeon. Let me go and explore the first floor. And then I'll go and heal up and then come back in with all of my items. Because I burnt through most of my money already. So I don't really have the supplies needed. Well, I'm not going to stay. There's no point in saving magic. So let's just murder my way through here. Ice? I don't know. They seem like they might be weak against ice. Nice payoffs from some of these enemies. Finally. Ah, just money. I mean, money's nice and all, but I was looking for hoping for items. I mean, I'm getting more money from killing monsters than I am from treasure chests anyway. Now, oh, I thought maybe this was a room I can get into. Nice items. Finally! Money again. Battles are coming frequent. Uh, this will take me to another floor. Second floor basement. All right, I'm back and I'm gonna go and, damn it. Since this dungeon is determined to be a real pain in the ass, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each level at a time. Instead of trying to just one-shot it, I'm going to do each level, and then I'm going to retreat back out and rest and items and all that kind of crap. You know, trying to just try to get the lay of the land instead of um, being too obsessed with conserving my resources and all that kind of stuff while fighting my way through. The frequency that the random battles come at you in this dungeon is a real pain in the ass. Frequent, overly frequent, um, overly frequent random battles is a real thing of frustration for me. Because, <laughs> I mean, not that I'm, uh, I mind random battles or the turn-based battle things. In fact, I kind of like those things. They're commonalities in RPGs, or the Japanese-style RPGs, that of uh, genre I've always liked. But when they come too frequently, it gives you the feeling that they're, the game is punishing you for 
just exploring. And if I get to a point where, like, I'm trying to take as few steps as possible to make my way to the next door or whatever, then um, all of a sudden I'm not having fun. I'm trying to avoid parts of the game. Of course, this is an old school RPG, and they are much less forgiving. Okay, so there was nothing on that level. I'm level three. All right, I knew I said I would stop once I hit a hit a new floor, but I'm running through these pretty quickly. I don't feel like running all the way out for a floor that achieves nothing. Okay, I'm on floor three now. Oh, treasure chest. Money. God damn it. <laughs> oh, it's another treasure chest. I know I always seem to run out of money between... Uh, damn it. I always seem to run out of money between my dungeon runs. So you'd think picking up some extra gill would be good. But it always feels like something of a disappointment because the amount of money you get out of a treasure chest always seems to be... Well, wow, look at all those. The amount of money you get out of a treasure chest never seems to be any more than you get out of a random encounter. And, like, this is probably going to net me quite a bit more money than the 1,800 gil that I got for that treasure chest. Yeah, 2,100. Plus experience points. Hey, look, a level up. Oh, I'm poisoned. <laughs> uh, hey, look, I can do a cure. Barely. <laughs> oh, shit, where am I? I'm watching the map instead of uh, the screen. What is that, device? Kill it! Kill it with stabbies! <laughs> See, 4,191 gil in that fight. Didn't cost me barely but a bit of damage. Ah! God damn it. Monsters! <laughs> Just these little tornado or uh, whirlpools or whatever the hell it's supposed to be. Water elemental. The slow chipping away of damage that drives you nuts. I'll level up. And it was just gill. More gill. It's like we want to throw a treasure chest down there, but we don't want it to feel like it was worth it. Plus, I had to fight for it, so I got more money from the, uh, the fights than I did from the treasure chest. Monsters! Ah. More gill. Whoa! Okay. Mummy. King mummy. Just freaking. Thunder uh, their asses. I don't know what I'm dealing with here, so let's try to make them all dead as quickly as possible. <laughs> Come on, B, do your thing. When did you get a shield? Nice. Giant's gloves. Ooh, okay. Item. Uh. Oh, okay. So here it is. Defense six, weight three. Defense six, weight three. One, I can't even, can't even equip it.
Didn't realize that you could carry a nice shield nowadays. So the giant's gloves seem worthless. It's empty. So I got armor that's useless. Hopefully something better. Monsters! Ah, oh, I'm ambushed too. Oh, you suck. Light axe! Ah, uh, less. Oh, okay. Ice brand and light axe. Actually, it. It, it, it is an upgrade for the weapon that my thief was carrying, but I didn't realize that I could use this better sword anyway. So, it, although the weapon itself is useless, at the very least it um, gave me the opportunity to notice that I could upgrade the thief's weapon. Yes, okay. Money, money, ribbon. Oh, ribbon, ribbon. Ribbon. Where does it go? Ribbon was always one of the best items in the game. Who can equip it? Okay. Okay, so it will lower defense. But what Ribbon does is it defends against every status effect. So you're not going to take a status hit by equipping this, even though I can actually... Okay, you're gonna get Ribbon. It, uh... You know, it doesn't say what it does. <laughs> but Ribbon and all the other games defended against all status ailments, which was awesome. Got, I got turned around. Where have I been already? Have I been to the... Yeah, I must have. Alright, so there's an exit up this way. Shrunken sign first floor. Uh, is this, I've already been here, haven't I? All right, this isn't where I've been. Okay, so you know what? I should probably do my retreat now. Because, I mean, who the hell knows how... what I'm going to be encountering. It's going to take me a while to get out of here. I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to take a different path back. So I came back and I rested. But there is another path out of here. There's a... Up in this direction, there's another stairwell. One that I didn't take before, so... I want to see what's here. The new room. Uh, maybe with nothing in it. <laughs> my characters have gained quite a few levels during my previous... Um, during my runs through here. So they're quite a bit more powerful and 
these treks through this dungeon have gotten easier. Not the, oh, Mage's Staff, what's that good for? Not for you. How about you? Attack, but accuracy goes down, I guess. Okay, <laughs> I'll take that trade off, I guess. Because it's the way it does work with these RPG games. The higher level you get, in most of the games anyway, the easier it gets. Strangely enough, not Final Fantasy VIII money. Mm. Alright, so here's the staircase, but I'm not done exploring this level yet. So, I'll be back in a minute. Another light axe. Hm. Let's stick with what I have. Come on now. Something good. Something good, something good, something good. Diamond armor, that sounds fan fucking tastic. Defense 68, evasion 36. Can anyone else wear that? No. You know what? You're, uh. You're gonna do better. <laughs> Fantastic. Finally, something worth <laughs> trekking around in here for. I mean, I guess the ribbon will be useful too, but I haven't really seen the effects of that yet. But still. Still, diamond armor sounds pretty fucking awesome. Something good, come on. Money. Nothing else in this... All right, so I think I've cleared this floor out. The big dungeon. Ah, oh, shit, did I miss this one? What was in here? No, I didn't. Oh, wow, look at all these rooms. Oh, is that an NPC? Yep. Prayers of an answer. Okay. Treasure chest. Money. Diamond armlet and more money. Diamond armlet. Um, okay, there it is. Okay, so I could equip it. It'd be better on one of the mage characters, though. Alright, so there are no encounters here. I would have gotten into a few fights by now. It's like a town. Yeah, I ran into her. <laughs> Going on and on about her legs. <laughs> ow, how? Don't bother answering the question, just move on. Money. Alright, so yeah, that's what I'm here to do for the water crystal. Why are they making me roam around in here like this? Was 
a lot of gill in that last one. So I gotta kill the Kraken. Antidote. How the hell did you do that? It's in the middle of a desert. Aren't you like a fish girl? Diamond shield! Higher stats are good. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> They're definitely not going to be throwing ice attacks at me in this place. So... More money. How do I get to you? I don't know how I get to that one. I gotta come at it from the other angle, I guess. You know, if we're underwater, how come you can't swim over these holes? Is there like an inn here? Diamond gloves, diamond helm. Rosetta stone, okay. That seems important. <laughs> Diamond gloves. Actually, worse than what I have. And no one else can wear it. <laughs> Better steps. Oh, this just loops around. How the hell does that happen? What? Alright, I think I've seen everything there is to see here. I was hoping this was some sort of a town. With an inn and all that. It's just a bunch of mermaids swimming around. No random encounters though, so that's a plus. So I'm going to head back to the main room. Retreat out, get my rest back. And then head back into um, the dungeon. And I'll bring the camera back online back at the first level, which is apparently where the Kraken lives. And that's where the boss battle will be. Alright, I'm back to floor one. And gonna make my way through here. I believe that, well, it certainly seems like this is the last floor of the dungeon. Nothing even in here. Because uh, I started off in floor five. And I progressed down to floor one. Was there going to be like a floor zero? <laughs> but somebody, oh, the one of the mermaids said that this is where you'll find a uh, kraken. Ah, damn it! Not even an enemy to fight. This is just a pathway through. Uh, is this... Um... This has got to be it. Yep. Alright, let's... Let's get everybody cured up. Good enough. Let's do this. Cthulhu. <laughs> All right, 
Alright, no screwing around. Just hit this guy as hard as you can. Tank. Not missed. I was not taking much damage. Okay, maybe I... Maybe ice attacks. Well, that did some decent damage. But maybe ice attacks aren't the best front. Let's do... Lightning attacks. Now oh, that did some decent damage there. I don't know why they're not all doing it. attention to the numbers last time. Yeah, they're a little... Oh, he's dead. Okay. I was expecting... I was expecting a little bit tougher of a fight, considering how big the dungeon was. But I guess all my trekking through the dungeon did a little bit of level grinding, and my characters are maybe a little overpowered for this. Okay. Yes, leave. And I'm outside again. So I guess that's the end of the dungeon there. Uh, I don't know where to go next. I'm going to go back down and check out, see if the mermaids in the dungeon have anything different they're going to say. But, you know, if I don't come back... They didn't say anything special. Uh, there really isn't much of a change. Just this one says um, something different, but nothing special. <laughs>